hello guys welcome welcome to my channel i really miss you guys <laughs> so in this video this weave this wig has been washed it has been conditioned and all those good stuffs so we are going to drive into the video with no long talks so now i'm going to put the wig on a canvas head and use a t pin to hold it you can use any pin just to hold your wig down so it won't be moving around while you're working so you can use any pin you can use an office pin a t pin whatever pin necessary so we're using a rat tail comb styling mousse please use a very good styling mousse don't use any styling mousse that is very harsh don't use any styling mousse that's alcohol use a good styling mousse and we're using a white tooth comb i'll be using the average plastic rollers it has different sizes it comes in small one the medium one and the large so i'm using the medium one and a clip to just hold down my hair so now i'm going to be sectioning the wig into three sections to enable enable me work neater and faster so i'm sectioning the right sectioning the left and the down part so i'm clipping it the way you want to work with a neat sections guys so before you start coiling please make sure your weave is neatly washed neatly conditioned or you co-wash just make sure your wig is neat so now i'm going to be starting from the first track and I'm clipping the rest away so yes I didn't show this I'm using a um, leave-in conditioner is the mega growth leave-in conditioner the conditioner is very good you can use any leave-in conditioner of your choice so you can see I'm opening it there are different fake fake mega growth leave-in conditioner so the original one is pink <laughs> if I'm right so now I'm massaging, I'm going to massage the leave-in conditioner into the weave. This will make the weave very soft. Very, very soft. So now I'm going to apply the styling mousse. Please be generous with your products. I'm going to apply the styling mousse so it will hold the coils very, very well and make the coils last. So now I'm applying it and I'm going to comb those two products. So now I'm showing you the, mid, the medium rollers I'm going to use. So if you want a bigger coil, you can use a bigger roll -on rollers. If you want a smaller coil, you can use a smaller rollers. So now the secret to this is you need to work with smaller section. So now you see um, I slowed this method because I need you to understand it's very easy but if you miss this step your coils won't come out the way you want so guys are you seeing i've rolled the first one i want to use i'm going to use the styling mousse to hold the ends i'm going to use the styling mousse to hold the ends apply the styling mousse all over the end so it will secure my ends and roll you need to roll very neatly you need to roll very slow and you need to roll very 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 neatly neatly is the key word here guys you see I slow this method so you will see very well what I'm doing remember the portion I took is not big it's not small it's medium so if you're using a, a bigger rollers you can use a a bigger weave or a bigger portion of weave do you understand so now I've rolled so now if you want all the all your weave to be coiled you get to the end if not you stop at a particular place and pin so I want mine to get to the end that's why I'm getting there so now I'm going to use a bobby pin to hold my rollers in you can see I'm using my bobby pin you open your bobby pin and you put it it will help secure the rollers very well so guys you see I'm putting it I'm going to put it by the left 
and by the right so now you've put it you need to tighten it by shifting it backwards sorry if my hands are blocking I will show it on the other side okay now you can see I'm going to use my pin put it on the rollers and shift it backwards this will enable it to be very strong so you can see I'm pushing it backwards so it will be very very strong that's it guys so simple <laughs> so simple and I you will love the coins when we're done with this video you will love you will love 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 the coins so guys you can see how strong this is even when I'm touching it it's not moving or anything so I'm going to show you all over again so guys you can see the ends are priority if you don't get your ends coiled very well you won't like the whole process the, the coils will be so scattered so you see I'm using the styling mousse the styling mousse will hold the ends very very well and make it look so beautiful so guys you can see I'm rolling it with the styling mousse that's why I advise you use a styling mousse that does not have alcohol you use a styling mousse that is very very good preferable styling mousse without alcohol it will make the hair strong after drying to make it very soft so guys we're going to repeat the bobby pins security again you put and you shift backwards for a tighter coils So the left and right you can put as many as you wish you can put two in both sides you can put three in both sides and just as long as your rollers is secured you're good to go so we're done with this and you can see how secure they are so now I'm going to fasten the process not to bore you guys it's still the same process just I just fastened it so guys take your time the smaller the portion, the smaller the portion, the beautiful, the tighter your coils. The smaller your rollers, the tighter your coils. The bigger your rollers, the looser. <laughs> it is a word like that. The more the coils loosen. I want this coils to last for a year or six months if my clients will maintain it very well. So this coils will last for a very, very long time. And yes, this is a bounce coins. So guys, you want to repeat the same process till you get to the closure part. And once we get to the closure part, I'll be back. So now we're almost in the closure part. So now we've gotten to the closure part. So I want to do a center party. You can do a side pattern if you want, but for this video, I'll be doing a center pattern. So, guys, you can see that last tracks, those closure tracks, we need to cover them. So, I'm going to bring out some weave, some hair from the closure to cover it. So, I'm going to do it only for the back. So, guys, if you've gotten to this side and you've not subscribed, please subscribe. Please subscribe thank you so back to the video i'm going to use a styling mousse to lay that place flat remember when this coil is dry it's so it's going to be difficult for us to come so we need to make everything while it's wet so i'm going to flatten this part with the styling mousse to make sure it's very very flat so now i'm getting i'm i'm um making my pattern very neat so applying the same process with the styling mousse making it very very flat so now here is the game changer you don't want to apply your styling mousse direct you need to cut your sections little by little so you see me let me come close i cut a section i use the styling mousse 
to flatten it use my comb cut another section this will make my pattern very very flat i mean super 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 flat so you see i'm taking my time to brush it in so i'm going to do this process to all these both sides of the closure the left and the right so if you're doing the side part you can as well do the whole set The styling mousse is going to be your best friend and again while working please make sure your hair is a bit wet not dry it's a bit wet so now i'm going to use a toothbrush my best toothbrush <laughs> to flatten the closure once more this is toothbrush i used to make baby hair i know i'm old school yes i know i accept so what we did to the left, we're going to do the same to the right. This will give our closure a very flat, a very sweet look. Section it little by little. Add your styling moves, flatten until you get to the same Simple, right? So this is a 4x4 four four closure, it comes with um, 3 patterns, the one by the left, the one by the right, that's what you're seeing, that one, that one is the left pattern, so we are doing a center pattern, not the left, not the side, sorry. So I'm going to repeat the same process of the toothbrush to flatten it. Use a good styling mousse and you will love the outcome. Use a very good styling mousse. So I'm bringing in my toothbrush to flatten that place. So guys, you can see how flat it's looking. Looking so flat and beautiful. Then we proceed to the next step to roll. So I'm going to flatten it once more. Just to be extra. <laughs> so now you can see I'm now taking one side and I'm ruling. Same process, same process. Add your leaving conditioner, add your styling moves, comb both process, comb both products in and roll. Be very neat, guys. Be very neat. And you can see how slowly I'm going. I'm not going too fast. I'm not going too slow. My priorities and my coiling is very neat, as you can see. Very, very neat. So what we did to the left, we'll do it to the right side too. We are done and we are going back to the left side. I don't know which side is which, it is the left or the right. <laughs> we are going to the second side hope you understand so i'm going to fasten this process and same thing guys your living conditioner your styling mousse apply and roll apply and roll <laughs> can you see how beautiful those coins are looking already <laughs> so i used um three packets of rollers this is a 14 inches hair I used three packets, three and a half because I took smaller, smaller sections. So I advise you can go for four packets. And voila! So we are done with the coiling. Woof! It's not easy. <laughs> so now I'm going to sun dry it for three days. Depending on how scorchy your sun is. Mine is it's so hot, yeah. 
so I'm going to dry it for three days and uh, you can see drying it for three days and after three days the coils are very dry you want your coils to dry very very well so now so I'm going to lose any coils guys you need to be very careful you need to be in a good mood while losing these coils because this will make or spoil your coils so now i'm showing you if you want any direction you want your coils to go if you want it to go to the right you remove it from the right if you want it to go from the left you remove it from the right left i'm going to be mixing the two sides in this video i'll be doing some left some right so same process guys gently please the video is very fast so if you look as if i'm being fast but i'm gentle be very gentle be very careful you don't want to scatter your coils so i'm um, getting we've gotten to the closure so guys now you want the left part to go away from the face you don't want to coil so if this this part is going to the left the other one is going to the opposite it's direction so guys you want it away from your face not to your face i don't know if you understand but what i mean in essence is you want to roll it backwards yes like this you want to roll it backwards away from the face so wow well, guys you can see those coils Woo! but we are not done we are not done we are not done <laughs> You're not done you can't wear your wig like this so if you want you can use the white comb and comb it in to make your coils very full very luxury but now i want to stick the coils in a little so i'm going to use the rat tail and i'm going to do the rolling method so what's this what i'm going to do now is to use the rat tail comb this will make my coils stand straight. I don't know if you understand, but watch that. I'm taking the comb and I'm rolling the hair with the comb. Slowly, very slowly. This will make my coils stand out. It will make my coils easy for me to wear. I can wear it like this, unlike the other time. So guys, you can see how straight that coil is. You can see how defined, how beautiful that coil is. Oh God, this coil is alive. So I'm going to show you this, this one again so you get it. So you just put your rat tail comb, gentle, and you turn opposite. You either turn to the left or you turn to the right. I'm left handed, I'm right handed, so I'm turning to the right. So, guys, you can see how gently I'm turning it. Please, I would advise you don't do this more than, more than once. Please, you do this, try and get it the first time or the second time, but not the third time. It will scatter your ends. So guys, I'm going to fasten this process and let's get to the beautiful, beautiful part. <laughs> wow, I so much love these coils. I so much love these coils. So please let your coils dry very, 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 very well. I didn't put it in a hand dryer. I let it dry naturally with the sun. So if maybe you're in a hurry, you can put it under the dryer. I don't know. I've not... I've not tried the dryer method I think it will make my hair strong because this is very soft from the video you can see how soft the wave is so I've not really tried the dryer method so I don't know I use my natural sun for it so guys you can see my coils are now standing out they are now more defined so guys you see why I said you should always make your closure part flat see how flat that back is so now I'm just going in again with the styling mousse to just touch up. Now oh, these coils are giving me life. Oh! So guys, please comment. What do you think about the video? Which videos do you want me to do more? I'm back fully. I had a problem, but now I'm back, back, back. 
so guys watch my closure is a, is a bit short it's so short so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to mix my closure weave with the main weave you see it's very short and it's standing and it's not going to look good so now i'm going to mix the longer one down with the weave So I'm going to apply some a little bit of styling mousse to just flatten that side because it's not good like that. So I'm going to use a bit of styling mousse to flatten. But if your closure is long, if your closure is same length with the weave, I don't think you need this this process. But mine is very short, so that's why I'm going to use styling mousse to flatten it down, as you can see. If you don't have a styling mousse, I don't know. We can use water. So I'm using the styling mousse to flatten it down, and I'm going to mix both weaves together. Just watch. So I flatten the side down, and I'm bringing both of them together. Can you see, guys? So now it's very beautiful. Hmm, yummy, yummy. So we're going to do the same thing to the other side. This is looking like a crown. <laughs> so we're going to make it beautiful. The same process using a styling mousse, flatten it down and mix it together. You're good to go. They will know. <laughs> if your closure is long, like I said, you don't need the process. So guys, here is the final look. I'm going to use the oil. Um, you can use any good oil. Three drops. I just touch on the hair to give it a bit shine. To make the hair shiny. <laughs> use a good oil, please. And I'm just crunching the hair in. I'll be crunching the oil in. <laughs> this process is optional. If you don't have the oil, please. It's optional. Wow, guys, can you see how healthy those coils are? Can you see how? Oh, god, these coils are so beautiful! Oh, they're so bouncy! So, guys, you can rock this hair this week. Wow, <laughs> wow, hi, Thelma! <laughs> Thanks for rocking my wig. <laughs> So now side guys i did this as a side party you can rock it as a side party you can rock it as a center party thank you for watching bye i love you so much see you some other time bye